of the thousand-year rule of Cobra. All shall be crushed beneath Serpento's iron... Welcome to another exciting episode from Marvelous Videos. I'm your host, Tia Ayer. Serpentor, the charismatic cult leader in G.I. Joe. Did you know that Cobra was temporarily commanded by an entity whose genetic material was derived from some of history's most legendary leaders? Dr. Mindbender developed Serpentor as the leader of the terrorist group Cobra. In order to build this being, Cobra combed the world for traces of Vlad Tepes, Rasputin, Napoleon Bonaparte, Julius Caesar, Hannibal, Genghis Khan, Attila the Hun, and Alexander the Great. He was never meant to be Cobra Commander's replacement. He was supposed to be a more iconic figure to motivate the troops. The intention was for Cobra Commander to retain his power. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a very small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Weekly, I'll obey the commands of a true emperor. Serpentor! Serpentor! The big arrival in the animated series. Serpentor is a reoccurrent nemesis in the G.I. Joe, a real American hero, toys, graphic novels, and animated series. The character was introduced in 1986 and governs as Emperor of Cobra. Serpentor was conceived as the ultimate Cobra commander. Dr. Mindbender with Dustro searched the tombs of history's most outstanding leaders for cells bearing their DNA traces. These long-dead genetic codes were mixed to create a clone with Napoleon's intelligence, Julius Caesar's ruthlessness, Hannibal's courage, and Attila the Hun's shrewdness. In Sunbow Productions, Arise, Serpentor, Arise, we are first introduced to Serpentor. This is a five-part miniseries. Ron Friedman wrote this miniseries, which follows his typical format. Serpentor is the main villain in Season 2 of the original G.I. Joe, a real American hero, animated series from the 1980s. Dick Gautier voiced Serpentor in the second season opener. Dr. Mindbender developed the animated Serpentor to be a new, better leader of Cobra through a milestone in cloning technology. He was envisioned as the ideal warrior, culled from the corpses of some of history's greatest generals and conquerors, as well as other significant historical characters like Alexander the Great, Attila the Hun, Eric the Red, Genghis Khan, Geronimo, Grigori Rasputin, Hannibal, Ivan the Terrible, Julius Caesar, Montezuma, Napoleon Bonaparte, Philip II of Macedon, Vlad the Impaler, Zenith Uman Toth, who is a fiction creation. Sun Tzu's DNA was also supposed to be a component of Serpentor's design in the animated universe, but the attempt to collect his DNA was prevented by Sergeant Slaughter, and his DNA was then decided to be used as a substitute. Cobra Commander botched the initial effort to make Serpentor by surreptitiously dumping a mutated virus into Sergeant Slaughter's DNA chamber, resulting in a rampage across Cobra Island till it disintegrated. Cobra Commander is abandoned by Scrap Iron, who tells Dr. Mindbender what happened before Dr. Mindbender's second attempt. The invention is a success, with the capture of Sergeant Slaughter and finally, Serpentor is created. Serpentor is exceedingly intolerant and forceful as a consequence of Sun Tzu's DNA not being present within him. Most of his directives begin with the words, This I command. In contradiction to Cobra Commander, he also demonstrates some of Slaughter's eagerness to command from the front lines. Serpentor accepts a battle from Slaughter shortly after being created and given his distinctive clothing, and the two battle across the terror drum, wherein Serpentor demonstrates the strength that he receives from the sergeant's DNA during most of the fight. However, in the absence of Sun Tzu's methodical influence, Serpentor is prone to impulsive behavior, as is seen by his first significant act, which is leading Cobra in an invasion of Washington, D.C. He was successful in taking the city and requested the resignation of the president, who was not in town at the time with the vice president, Congress, and G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe successfully counteracts Cobra, rendering the operation a complete failure. But just when the Joes are ready to take Serpentor, a surprising surge of fire forces them back. It is the work of Cobra Commander, who persuaded Mindbender to release him because he understands how to wield a weapon. Cobra Commander persuades Serpentor to make him his scapegoat, as there will be no one to punish him. Serpentor may assume the facial traits of anyone whose DNA is incorporated in his genetic composition, according to a later episode titled, My Favorite Things, a Viking warrior renowned as Ulrich the Batterer. 
Emperor and the reptile ruler Takshaka. The Indian legend are both revealed as donors to Serpentor's development. Across the whole of Season 2, the Cobra Commander makes multiple efforts to murder Serpentor using various schemes. <laughs> Serpentor in the animated project G.I. Joe, the movie explored. Dick Gautier voices Serpentor in the movie too. Serpentor has taken charge of Cobra following the conclusion of the previous season and a thwarted strike on the Statue of Liberty. And Cobra Commander plots to remove his usurper. Pythona battles her way further into Terror Drome, where Serpentor knows her from a buried memory. She instructs him to lead Cobra soldiers in an effort to capture the broadcast energy transmitter, which is an advanced energy generator being tested by G.I. Joe in the Himalayas. Despite their colossal assault, Cobra is pushed off and Serpentor is imprisoned following the fleeing Cobra forces deeper through the Himalayan mountains. A small squad of Joes commanded by Roadblock is savagely ambushed and abducted by strange monsters with apparent links to Cobra Commander. Meanwhile, at G.I. Joe headquarters, a fresh squad of rookie Joes, known as the Rawhides, is introduced to the crew. They go through intensive training under the beachhead sharp observation. Lieutenant Falcon is noticeably missing from training because he has provided an unapproved tour of Serpentor's prison facility to an ordinary young female named Heather, who's actually the Dreadnought Zorana under disguise. Duke discovers Falcon's neglect of duty and assigns him to guard duty as a penalty. Elsewhere in the Himalayas, a bulk of Cobras have been imprisoned as guests by Cobra La, an archaic race of snake beings hell-bent on destroying human civilization. The supreme monarch of Cobra La, Golobulus, and his assistant, Pythonia, narrate the origins of their race. Cobra La are Earth's past overlords, thanks in part to their great scientific understanding, which enables them to control and turn live animals into advanced biological technology. However, the start of the Ice Age obliterated their civilization, driving the few survivors to hide in caverns deep beneath the Himalayans. Cobra Commander is also revealed to be a Cobra La citizen who was dispatched to capture Earth for them. Due to his dismissal rate of success, the commander will be prosecuted as a felon and condemned in accordance with Cobra Law's custom. Galobulus also professes to be the actual creator of Serpentor, having twisted Dr. Mindbender's hallucinations to instill him with the information and talent required to create Serpentor. Zorana directs the Dreadnoughts, Pythona, as well as the monstrous nemesis Enforcer into Serpenter's incarceration facility, using knowledge gained from her meeting with Falcon. Falcon, who is meant to be guarding the facility's entrance, is instead pestering teammate Rawhide Jinx inside the motor pool. Serpentor is set free, and the Cobras flee. Falcons get arrested for failing to report to work. Galobulus announces his plan to recapture Earth to Serpentor and the rest of Cobra. He will release the same spores that altered Cobra Commander, where they will rain down on the Earth and degrade the human race to the point of mindless animals. He instructs Serpentor to retrieve the BET in order to help in the development of the spores. As a punishment for failing to kill mankind, Cobra Commander is subjected to a batch of mutative particles that progressively convert him into an actual snake. He is then led to the cell and placed within a deterrent. The kidnapped Joes attempt to flee Cobra Law as the gate is unlocked, but they are apprehended by biological booby traps and just narrowly escape arrest. Duke speaks in Falcon's defense at Joe headquarters, claiming that he really is Falcon's half-brother. Falcon's punishment, rather than being court-martialed, comprises a brutal retraining regimen at the hands of Sergeant Slaughter. Falcon meets the Renegades and the Sarge's other troops, Mercer, Red Dog, and Taurus. The Renegades, Sergeant Slaughter, and Falcon invade the Cobra Terror Drome on Cobra Island at Duke's behest. They find that Cobra planned a second effort to get the BET. Despite Falcon's temporary captivity, the Joes flee with their data and demolish the Terror Drome. Cobra successfully obtains the BET gadget with the help of huge serpent worms and odd airplanes. At the same time, Serpentor badly injures Duke while protecting Falcon. Flint, Iceberg, and Lifeline find Roadblock as well as Cobra Commander and transmit the position of Cobra Law as well as the BET following General Hawk's mobilization of every Joe, excluding the Rawhides, in an invasion on Cobra Law. However, they are ambushed and trapped by the traps from earlier as they approach the colossal ice dome. The Rawhides meet Roadblock and Flint and slip inside Cobra Law. 
in which one of them named Tunnel Rat uncovers a river tunnel. Falcon, Jinx, and Sergeant Slaughter beat Nemesis Enforcer, Pythona, and Serpentor after liberating the kidnapped Joes. Falcon then attacks Galobulus. After achieving victory, the cadet destroys not only the BET, but also the spore capsules in space. Cobra Islaw's dome is destroyed and the Joes triumph. Comic Book Origins of Serpentor Even in the Marvel Comics, Dr. Mindbender created Serpentor in an effort to create the perfect soldier of Cobra. Mindbender and Destro plundered the graves of legendary warriors and used the corpse of Cobra, Rebel Storm Shadow. Mindbender merged the DNA inside a lab and planted his own skills and loyalties, and the warriors were raised in Springfield, the Cobra town. Serpentor offered to command the Cobra warriors in a delaying effort to allow the people to be evacuated. In combat, he exhibited his immense military talents by anticipating and countering the Joe's attacks while also demonstrating considerable risk and charm, quickly garnering the troops' respect. He succeeds in duping the Joe's regarding the exact location of the same Cobra evacuation, causing Cobra to successfully escape. Serpentor would have been accidentally abandoned, but Dustro made certain he was not. When Serpentor arrived, on Cobra Island, a powerful battle erupted involving him and Cobra Commander. The latter made numerous efforts to murder Serpentor. Serpentor predicted them and made remarks that ensured that even if he was murdered by Cobra Commander, Cobra would still be destabilized. Zartan, as well as the Dreadnoughts, were then commanded by Cobra Commander to pose as Joe in order to murder Serpentor, but Destro prevented them from doing so. Despite Cobra Commander's doubts, Serpentor used the effort to call for an invasion of the Joe camp the pit manipulating the situation to his advantage once more. An attack was launched, with both Serpentor as well as Cobra Commander attempting to seize the lead, resulting in both seeking to dethrone the other. Serpentor duped Cobra Commander into entering the pit, where he became imprisoned when the Joes set off a bomb to destroy the base. Now that Cobra Commander was missing and presumed dead, Serpentor assumed command of the organization and embarked on new ventures such as arms sales and sales of terror drones to different nations, and the establishment of an embassy in New York to undertake Cobra operations discreetly and with diplomatic immunity. He also managed to command field operations such as preventing a Joe team from seizing portions of a terror drone at Sierra Gordo. He also attempted to seize the new Power Mobile Source, Power Station Alpha, forming a partnership with the Invasion Decepticon Transformers to do so. But when it became evident that the Decepticons intended to use Alpha to destroy Earth, Cobra formed another alliance with the competing Autobot Transformers as well as G.I. Joe to stop them. In New York, when Serpentor substituted the Baroness as Chief of Affairs with Zarana, he created a possible adversary. Then alleging to be Cobra Commander, a guy landed on Cobra Island. He responded to every question accurately, but Serpentor remained hesitant to cede leadership. On the other hand, the Baroness knew how Cobra Commander appeared beneath his headgear and was tasked with confirming the arrival's identity. To Serpentor's chagrin, she proclaimed that the genuine Cobra Commander had returned. Serpentor attempted to bring down his opponent for command once more by putting him in peril by forcing him to lead an expedition into space, but rather his rival demonstrated leadership and won the respect of his men. Serpentor and Mindbender spied on the adversary and discovered that he was an imposter, Fred the Seventh, who was a Crimson Guard from the Fred series. They did not, however, expose him due to the overwhelming support that he had received. Serpentor kept plotting to reclaim full control of Cobra, completely oblivious that Fred had hidden a recording device within one of the BAT bodyguards. Mindbender created the Star Viper, who was sent to penetrate the new Joe outpost and steal a new secret transceiver, Black Box. Once the Star Viper came to Cobra Island, he was greeted as a hero. However, animosity between Serpentor and Fred erupted during the ceremony, sparking the Cobra Civil War. Serpentor and Mindbender quickly realized that they were outnumbered, so Mindbender traveled to the United States with the black box to strike a deal. The U.S. administration reasoned that Serpentor, as a somewhat lawful monarch, was preferable to Cobra Commander, a brutal dictator. So a full rank of Joes was dispatched to the Isle to help Serpentor. There were disagreements about the hierarchy of command, as well as Serpentor's decision to use the captive Baroness as a scapegoat attached to his HISS vehicle. But bombardment from Fred's troops 
and the presence of a third force led to Serpentor agreeing to a combined command with Hawk. Serpentor, the Joes, and Destro soon had Fred trapped in between them, leading the latter's command to panic. Serpentor, however, got overconfident in his position. Zartan took the initiative on Fred's side and shot an arrow. Serpentor said that he could sense triumph approaching, similar to the day of the Normans' triumph at the Battle of Hastings, when King Harold was killed with an arrow in the eye. He was slain in the same manner. Mindbender quickly made a deal with Fred, thereby resolving the Civil War. Mindbender obtained permission to keep Serpentor's body for further experimentation in the aftermath. Serpentor, from Devil's Due Publishing G.I. Joe versus Transformers Crossover has a totally different origin story. The U.S. government creates an android dubbed Serpentor in the third G.I. Joe versus the Transformers miniseries, utilizing processors obtained from Megatron and loaded with information about Earth and Cybertron's best military generals. Serpent or believe himself to be Megatron's son and successor, embarks on a journey to get the Matrix believing that it would offer him the power he requires to govern. He goes to Cybertron, at which point he reassembles the numerous broken Decepticon troops. He finally gains control of the Matrix, changing himself to Serpentor Prime, a Transformer-sized robot with a spark of life. This causes him to reconsider his conquest approach, but Cobra Commander assumes control over Serpentor's Prime's form, with a remotely controlled device installed on Earth. Hawk was able to unlock the Matrix, changing Hawk into a strong leader and putting the commander unconscious so his fury did not continue long. Beyond this, Serpentor's fate is unclear. Serpentor presided over the aborted trial of Destro, who was convicted of treason in his attempt to seize the broadcast energy transmitter in the British Action Force Comics universe. Serpentor interrupted the trial and said that Destro was correct regarding the necessity for the BET. Later, Serpentor commissioned Weaponsmith to build a stronger laser fueled by diamonds and informed him that he could locate a big diamond in Amsterdam. Serpentor's focus wavered and the chamber faded into obscurity to be substituted by another ornamented with serpents that he recognized. A lady stood in front of him telling him repetitively that Cobra needed the broadcast energy transmitter and he proclaimed her to be the woman of his desires. Serpentor's real identity is Stephen Minajan in the IDW universe and he is the commander of the coil, Cobra's scriptural wing, and a hugely popular cult known to the general populace as a self-help organization. Organization. The Coil worshipped Gobulus, a divinity who created Cobra Law before human stupidity ruined it. Serpentor professes to be Gobulus's final disciple, a resurrection of the gods' prior heroes such as Napoleon as well as Alexander the Great. Serpentor is a representative of the Cobra Council, which appoints the Cobra Commander, who has always been higher in rank than Serpentor. In the event that a new commander must be elected, Serpentor's point of view carries a substantial amount of weight. If you back some one, their stock will undoubtedly rise in the opinion of the Cobra Court. Serpentor isn't keen on being the new commander and begins supporting the Baroness, Major Blood, and Tomax in obtaining the job so that the future leader will need him. Kneel before your master, you pathetic losers! You first, Mr. President. What makes him such a deadly enemy? Serpentor is a real psychopath, having no sorrow for his acts and little concern for his followers, which he regards as disposable in the struggle against G.I. Joe. His ego has no bounds, since he feels that everyone, including his creator, Dr. Mindbender, is beneath him. He sees himself as a genuine emperor, since he contains the memories of his different DNA sources, who were nothing other than the most prominent tyrants and dictators in history. In all renditions of his origin, he is immensely powerful and brilliant. He has access to the memories of his different DNA donors, which allows him to be a brilliant strategist while also driving him nuts. He could also modify his looks to match the DNA templates from which he was created. There can be no negotiation, you insolent microbe! I am not symbolic! I am your emperor! Conclusion Serpentor is a superb strategist and maestro of political machinations, and he took leadership of Cobra against Cobra Commander as he intended to. Serpentor is the result of a Cobra scheme to produce the ideal soldier, a conspiracy of Cobra experts headed by Dr. Mindbender, as well as Destro, invaded nearly every tomb in search of the greatest warriors in history. They gathered every shred of DNA that they could find in order to create the genetic blueprint for this super soldier. Serpentor is filled with 
the experiences and memories of these remarkable individuals, thanks to Dr. Mindbender's intellect. Serpentor has acute military intelligence, boldness, daring, charm, political know-how, and combat capacity that is much beyond Cobra Commander. His scientists failed to realize that the men from whose Serpentor's DNA sprang from were also intelligent and cruel leaders with vast aspirations. Serpentor's blood, after all, calls up the majesty of conquest, the conquering of the whole world. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone!